Welcome back everyone and details regarding AMD's ray tracing support for its Radeon RX 6000 RDNA 2 based graphics cards have been unearthed by Donnie over at AdoreTV.com. There was some recent discussion regarding how AMD will implement its own ray tracing features into gaming titles and it looks like AMD's gaming GPUs will have full support in titles that are based on Microsoft's DXR or Vulkan ray tracing APIs. Now AMD clarified that their Radeon RX 6000 series graphics cards will feature full ray tracing support in games titles using the industry based standards. Now according to AMD they will allow full ray tracing support in games that are based on again Microsoft's DXR and Vulkan ray tracing APIs and there's a lot of titles that already do that. What they had to say was this, AMD will support all ray tracing titles using industry based standards including the Microsoft DXR API and the upcoming Vulkan ray tracing API. Games that make use of the proprietary ray tracing APIs and extensions will not be supported. So for starters there is only a handful of titles that are locked behind Nvidia's RTX implementation and therefore regarded as proprietary standards. Major game engines such as Frostbite, Unreal, Seed, and Unity are based on Microsoft's DXR APIs. Vulkan Ray Tracing is also implemented in id Tech's new engine and its next generation title however currently those are only supported by the RTX GPUs. There is a big possibility that developers who have their games based on industry standard APIs for ray tracing will at some point enable support for AMD's Radeon RX 6000 RDNA 2 graphics cards, but that remains to be seen. We could also see a drastic difference between Nvidia's RTX and AMD's own ray tracing implementation in the same titles too. We recently got to see some impressive ray tracing performance numbers of the Radeon RX 6800 series graphics cards which shows that AMD might have a strong RT solution of their own. Now AMD does still lag behind Nvidia when DLSS is enabled however. AMD is also working on their alternative to DLSS solution under the Microsoft Direct ML banner. It will definitely be interesting to see how well the AMD RA or the Ray Accelerator cores compares against Nvidia's RT cores. Now AMD's Scott Herkelman has already stated that they are currently working on their own super resolution feature to be implemented along ray tracing. However, as per The Verge, the solution might not be available on the launch of the Radeon RX 6000 series graphics cards and we can definitely expect more detailed information on ray tracing and AI based super resolution features for Radeon RDNA 2 based graphics cards in the coming weeks as promised by AMD's chief architect of gaming solutions and marketing Frank Azor. And for more on this and other news, follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.